Hi there, welcome to this Alchemist chemistry video looking at the physical separation technique known as filtration. We'll start with a really quick explanation of what filtration is all about. It is a physical separation method designed to separate insoluble solids from mixtures of those solids with liquids to collect the solids themselves. The key solubility term used there was insoluble, which means doesn't dissolve, meaning the solid is not dissolving into the liquid it is mixed with. So a couple of good examples of some commonly found insoluble substances. Number one, sand, mainly comprised of silicon dioxide, a giant conveyor structure, and silicon dioxide is insoluble in water. Number two, lead iodide, a bright yellow compound which is insoluble in water. And actually, if you're looking at balanced equations and you see this S state symbol for solid, it often is implying that the substance you're looking at there is an insoluble solid and therefore does not dissolve in water. Lead compounds are often insoluble in nature. One exception to that would be lead nitrate, which is soluble and can form solutions. Now I'll take you through a really basic filtration setup. Just three pieces of apparatus required. A conical flask to collect the liquid as it runs through the filter funnel and the filter paper. The filter funnel itself will sit in the conical flask and most importantly, the filter paper then rests inside the filter funnel. You will probably have already dampened your filter paper so it sticks nicely to the filter funnel itself. Then you pour through your mixture, and the key thing is the liquid will run straight through the filter paper unimpeded, whilst the insoluble solid will be unable to pass through the filter paper and instead will collect on top of the filter paper and be separated from the liquid. Really simple and basic separation process. Let's go through a simple word example. What I've chosen here is a suspension of fine sand and water. What is a suspension? Well, that's when you have particles of your insoluble solid floating around in the surrounding liquid, in this case, water. Different to a solution. So this will appear opaque in nature because you can't easily see through this mixture because the particles of the insoluble solid will be blocking and the passing of light through. Whereas if this were a solution and our substance, our solid was dissolved, we would easily be able to see through the transparent liquid. So you can tell you're dealing with an insoluble solid because you have a suspension and not a solution. You have this opaque appearance as the solid particles are floating around. Now, if we left this big for a while, yes, those solid particles will probably settle to the bottom, and but you'd still be able to see that there was a, definitely a solid present. So what we do is we grab our beaker and we pour our mixture straight through our filter paper. And what we'd find is, this would be our result. What we have is a clear separation. The insoluble sand has been left behind on the filter paper and is now known as a generic term as the residue. Whilst the pure water has flowed through the filter paper down the filter funnel and into our collection vessel, in this case, conical flask. And that water, that separate liquid, is generically known as the filtrate. Whatever passes through the filter paper, we call it the filtrate. So we have our residue, the insoluble solid left behind on the filter paper, and our filtrate, the now separated liquid, present in the conical flask. And that is how filtration works. Thank you for listening to the end there, guys. If you found the video useful, please think about giving it a like, or you could subscribe to the channel to get access to even more of our content. Your support is hugely appreciated and helps motivate me to keep making videos on a weekly basis. And as always, take care. Bye now.